The Mariana Trench has been a historic area. It always has people talking about it for one reason or another. And throughout history, there have been notable discoveries, events, and so much more that have come from the Mariana Trench. It's a location that's worth visiting or even studying, for it will always have something to offer in terms of facts or entertainment. Wow, look at that. That's why today's list is pretty much dedicated to this area, because no matter how many lists we make on the Mariana Trench, there's always something else to talk about. With that in mind, today we're going to bring you 15 shocking things recently found in the Mariana Trench. By the end of it, let us know if you still want to visit there. Number 15. Plastic at the bottom of the ocean. The Mariana Trench isn't just a place that's filled with marvelous discoveries, history and so much more. There are a lot of things here that you wouldn't expect to see. And unfortunately, a lot of those things that you wanted to expect have to come from mankind. Mankind is no stranger to letting its carbon footprint be known in the world. No matter where you traveled, you'll probably know if there has ever been a human there, because as much as we take care of the world, we also kind of don't. And that's a shame. We tend to do things like litter, forget about carbon emissions, and leave various debris where various debris doesn't belong. It's the definition that part of our carbon footprint involves littering. And this is where the next one comes in on our list because that's where something at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is what you wouldn't expect. But it might not also surprise you. Let's take a look. It was an American explorer who had found a plastic bag on the seafloor and he was doing this while he was trying to break the record for the deepest dive ever. His name was Victor Vescovo and he had gone down seven miles to the deepest place there. This is where he found that plastic bag and a few sweet wrappers. So it just goes to show that when you litter and think that it doesn't go anywhere, it's harming the environment, so don't do it. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. We pride ourselves on bringing you some of the most outrageous things found in the world. Discoveries are our top priority. And when it comes to these discoveries, you never quite know what you're going to get. It's not a one size fits all type of deal. There are levels to it. Some are more extreme than others. And the fact that the matter is that the and the fact of the matter is, at the top level of these extreme discoveries, some things leave people scratching their heads and dying to know more about the find. That's the case with this next one on our list because what they captured in the Mariana Trench left people speechless. As you can probably tell from the picture, this isn't any ordinary sight. This is something straight out of Jurassic Park, it feels, because you have a couple of people on the raft, a very small boat it seems, paddling towards the skeleton of a giant beast. Your photo was taken via a drone controlled by the people in the raft, and this is the only known photo of the exoskeleton. That's because the exact location of it cannot be found of this video. The problem here was that the people in the boat did not log the coordinates. So unfortunately for us, because of how big the Mariana Trench is, people may never find it again. It's a shame because this skeleton looks like it belongs to something prehistoric. It might be one of those things that leads us to a new version of history that we're not acquainted with yet. Maybe the bones belong to a whole new species altogether. Only time will tell if someone discovers this set of bones again. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Blanket Octopus The Mariana Trench may be filled with bones and garbage from humans, but we can't neglect the fact that there are plenty of animals down there and mammals that make us question everything we know about nature. We all have our belief system when it comes to what we think is out in this world. We've seen a limited number of animals and kind of had a good picture of what goes where. Now and then though, there's a place like the Mariana Trench that turns up mammals that sound like they belong in some sort of book maybe even out of some sort of fantastical movie. Those are the awesome times that remind us that the world is an incredible place. It lets us know that we can expand our minds and expect the unexpected. So how about now we tell you about the blanket octopus? Because that falls in line with everything we just mentioned. Let's get into it. So they call it the blanket octopus because it does indeed look like a blanket. Or at least it looks like a long yellow sheet. The reason for this is so it can appear larger and more intimidating to predators. The interesting part about this is that the male and female blanket octopuses are far different in size. 
and the male one is smaller than the female. So if you're ever cold down in the Mariana Trench, just pull up a blanket octopus and you'll warm right up. That's probably bad advice. Number 13. Goblin Shark We already went over an octopus that makes us question what else is down underneath the water, but that doesn't mean that it's the only crazy animal in the Mariana Trench. There are plenty of them that scientists are still discovering every day. In the grand scheme of things, the Mariana Trench isn't the cutest body of water, but at the same time, it's also not the smallest, which means a blanket octopus is not the only thing lurking down there which is going to make us scratch our heads. We're about to bring you another animal that has people talking for some spooky reasons. Sharks weren't spooky enough. They were about to get spookier with the goblin shark. And no, this isn't a character out of Spider-Man. This is a real-life living thing. But don't worry, we'll make sure they don't attack you. Once you see what the goblin shark looks like, you'll understand where we come from. It kind of looks like a hammerhead shark, except the nose is far longer and it's like a sword. It's spooky when you see it. Some facts about the goblin shark are that it gets its name from a Japanese demon. It prefers deep water. Nobody knows exactly what the creature's unusual snout is for, and when it hunts, it'll just thrust its jaw forward in what scientists call slingshot feeding. It's not a shark you want to come across, but that's what happens when you explore the Mariana Trench. Number 12. Live Streamers By now, you might have been a little shocked by how much it's been found underneath in the Mariana Trench. And we've only really scratched the surface with this list as well. There are still so many things down there that leave people in amazement while also making us want to go down there and discover even more of the unknown. That's the magic of the Mariana Trench. It's almost like walking into a pawn shop and not quite knowing what you're going to walk away with. There's a variety, almost like a variety show. People watch variety shows because there's an unpredictability to them. And we only know about this unpredictability when it comes to the Mariana Trench because of who's gone down there to explore it. And sometimes, what's gone down there to explore it? And sometimes, what's gone down there to explore it? That's where this next one comes into play. We may not be going over spooky fish or some litter, but we're going to go over the live streamers who have gone down there and seen things with their own eyes. Well, not technically their own eyes, but we'll explain. The submersible that we're talking about comes from China, which had live streamed footage of the submersible going down to the very bottom. This was a historic mission because not many things have been done there. It's called the Striver and it descended more than 10,000 meters or about 33,000 feet down below the surface. Number 11. Comb Jelly Alright, now that we've covered a way to go down into the Mariana Trench and see what's going on, let's get back to the craziness that's left down there. Let's talk about some more animals that don't seem to make sense in the grand scheme of things. When you see something that doesn't quite match up to the everyday animal, it can be startling. It can make you think twice about what's out there. And the comb jelly is no exception. Yep, it's actually called the comb jelly. Believe us when we say, this is one unbelievable animal. We're not surprised that it came out of the Mariana Trench. These breeds of jellyfish are gelatinous animals that drift through the oceans and water all around the world. They've pulsating bells and long trailing tentacles. The comb jellies also generate rainbow-like colors. One cool fact is that they happen to be ancient animals that had roamed the seas for about 500 million years so it's pretty crazy that they're still down there in the Mariana Trench. It's not only a place that holds a lot of mystery, but it's also a place that holds a lot of history. Number 10. Deep Sea Cockroach When it comes to the Mariana Trench, we know that it can be a pretty mystical place. It's almost like going through a slot machine and not knowing what's going to come out as a result. Everything is colorful. There are some dark places you can feel like you're an entirely different world altogether. As hard as it is to get down there, we know that you're probably wondering what else is down there that makes this place so incredible. You probably are surprised that there are some similarities between the Mariana Trench and the world that we live in, and it's not what you're expecting. Do you know that you probably wouldn't want to come across a cockroach down in the Mariana Trench because you wouldn't want to come across one in everyday life on land? But we got it covered by the deep sea cockroach. We're sorry that it exists. They're giant isopods, and they look like monstrously sized woodlice. Except they're not woodlice, they're down there in the sea. No one knows much about these crustaceans. All we know is that they live. 
There have been countless studies on them and we're still kind of clueless about why these cockroaches of the sea exist the way that they do. They can live 500 meters or more below the ocean surface. They have 14 legs and are relatives to wood lice. They spend most of their time on the seabed waiting for food to fall from above. Maybe in the future we'll know more about these mysterious creatures, but until then, maybe bring some raids down below the water. Number 9. Marine Snow One of the best parts about the Mariana Trench is realizing that you can push the boundaries of almost anything. It's a deep body of water and it's got a lot of different creatures down there. You're not just going in there like it's an ordinary lake. You have to kind of expand your mind into expecting the unexpected. In a way, the Mariana Trench can prepare you for life. Because when it comes to life, you can't predict what's going to happen next door. What are you going to find out that will topple your belief system altogether? How does this lead to the next one on our list? Well, because we're about to bring you something that not everyone knows about and it kind of pushes the limits as to what we consider snow. Because we're going to talk about marine snow. So, what exactly is marine snow? It's a shower of organic material that falls from the upper waters to the deep ocean. Picture being underwater and seeing it snow. That's exactly what it is. And this occurs because plants and animals near the surface die and decay. They have to go somewhere, so they fall below. This sets off the illusion of snow, but it's just a process of decay. But hey, at least the fish got to experience some version of our wintertime. It may not be as jolly as Christmas, but it's still something. Number 8. Lizardfish Keeping with the trend of crazy animals found in the Mariana Trench, it seems to be that when you search this area, you're able to top what you found last. Once you think you found the craziest looking animal down there, you take another trip and you find something even crazier. Something that seems like it's right out of a Marvel comic book. For example, take a lizard and take a fish. Those are two separate animals that you probably are aware of in the world of animals today. Now combine them and you get the lizard fish. Again, it sounds like something straight out of the comic book, but it's straight out of the Mariana Trench. You might have to call Spider-Man for this one, because this is an animal that no one's quite going to believe is out there. They live in the deep sea, and they can be downright frightening when you see them. They're massive and have protruding teeth and dark eyes. They usually live in tropical and subtropical coastal waters. You can find them about 3,000 feet below the water surface. They also don't like sunlight, and this is where they thrive. So that does make them a little bit spookier. But if you can get past their appearance, they're pretty cool, weighing in at around 15 pounds. Although they have so many sharp teeth, we don't think that they're going to need any dentists anytime soon. Number 7. Mouth of the Mariana We're going to keep with the trend of showing you why the Mariana Trench is just a mystical place that should have several books written on it. We've all seen those Disney movies that have those walls that open up or portals that take you to a different world altogether. Those are great escape films that keep you enthralled for as long as they're on the screen. We love things like that because we get to escape into a world that's not like the one we live in. This is how the Mariana Trench hooks us as well, because there are some things down there that kind of look like portals to different worlds. Take for example, the mouth of the Mariana. Once you see this, you'll believe in magic. And he won't need a magic wand to do that. It's a sea squirt that's unique for its predatory feeding style. It waits around until some delicious marine life swims by. That's when things turn into a horror movie. But it's not completely a monster. It's a hermaphrodite that has a 5-inch wide predatory tunicate. It thrives off of the hood and stock physiology. But to sum things up, it's almost like a piranha plant of the sea. Let's just say you don't want to be swimming by it whenever you're in the Mariana Trench. Number 6. Abyssal Jellyfish We've already spoke about a few fish on this list because after all, what else can you find down in the Mariana Trench besides some spooky fish? If you thought that our fish so far have been a little scary, then we're about to top that because we've got yet another one that makes people take a step back when they see it. You won't be finding this jellyfish in any zoo anytime soon because it's really a rare find and mesmerizes the sea. We're talking about the abyssal jellyfish and it's something that looks straight out of a Dr. Seuss book or a horror movie. Take your pick and let us know in the comments which one you think this fish belongs to, because it doesn't belong in our world today. 
This monstrous creature can reach 30 feet long, and as you can see, it's pretty ghostly. It's even been coined one of the largest invertebrate predators known in the ocean. That's a pretty big title. And even with that being said, there's still little understanding of psychology and behavior. All we know is that it's kind of scary to look at. And for that reason, we're going to move on to this next one. Number 5. The Deepest Fish We're up to number 5 and we've already traversed the Mariana Trench in a way that not many people in the past have. We've shown you things that not many people even know about. And that's what's cool about exploring the Mariana Trench because it's a wealth of knowledge. It's like a living and breathing museum. But if you think that we've explored it to the deepest levels, then you'd be mistaken. And we're going to go to the deepest levels because we're going to find you the deepest fish. It's called the Sea Mariana Snailfish. And it's, as we said, the deepest fish in the sea. They kind of look like ghosts in it of themselves because they have this wispy and pink smooth skin. You only find them at the deepest depths of the ocean's Mariana Trench. It wasn't easy to discover these creatures, but they were found by researchers at the University of Washington who played a key role in these creatures' discovery. The researcher's name was Mackenzie Geringer, and they've been working on their PhD in Hawaii while conducting the research with an international team who were collecting specimens near Guam. They made the discovery and the rest was history. Number 4. Pillow Lava we move on to something called pillow lava. We were blown away about this one, as you probably are, because there's just some things that come out in the Mariana Trench that don't make much sense. But the more that you learn about it, the more that you realize that they do make sense. So let's get into what this pillow lava is all about. Pillow lava is mounds of elongate lava pillows that form by repeated oozing and quenching of a hot basalt. They start with a flexible glassy crust that form around the newly extruded lava. This forms an expanded pillow. After the pressure builds up until the crust breaks and it kind of looks like toothpaste forming another pillow. It's a pretty cool process that you don't want to rest your head on. These are the types of pillows that you just look at and read about. Number 3. Bio Twang A few weeks ago, we had a list where we spoke about a bridge in San Francisco that had a very strong unexplainable hum. It was a sound that drove the residents of that town crazy. <coughs> But San Francisco isn't the only place with a strange sound. The Mariana Trench also emits one for the longest time no one's understood why. That was until today, where the answer might shock you because it's not an it that's causing the sound, it's a what. The cause of the sound was discovered during an exploratory mission to the Mariana Trench in 2014 and 2015. The scientists had recorded a mysterious sound they dubbed the Western Pacific Twang. They happen to be a weird mixture of biological and mechanical sounds that lead to a mystery of where they come from. But now the researchers think that they're produced by a species of baleen whale. It's a new whale call, and it happens to be very distinct. So next time you hear a strange sound in your neighborhood, it might just be a whale. Number 2. Six Gill Sharks We already covered one shark on this list, so why not two? We don't have to go too far into the Mariana Trench to cover the Six Gill Shark. Just when you thought that the world knew all there was about sharks, there arrives this one. These are primitive sharks. They can also be known as cow sharks and they distinguish themselves as deep sea predators that have six pairs of long gill slits on each side of their broad head. They resemble combs with yellow lower teeth and their tails are pretty long. They happen to be one of the world's largest sharks. There's not much known about the biology and habits of this species because of how deep they live in the waters. They've only been observed a little bit, and judging by their appearance, we think that's a good thing. Number 1. The Acorn Worm Number 1 on our list is 140 years in the making, and it's going to slither right into your consciousness because it's the Acorn Worm. It just proves that the Mariana Trench doesn't need big fish to stand out, it can have small critters too. It's slimy and comes in a variety of colors. It also leaves a sinuous trail of sediment on the deep sea floor. And it's not a fish, but a worm. They're called acorn worms, and oddly enough, they're closer to humans than they are to other worms. They're one of four species of worms that can live at the bottom of the ocean. They can grow over 30 centimeters and have been videotaped around 3,000 meters below the surface. They have fleshy lips to feed on a thin layer of sediment, and this helps them to thrive. So, they're not as ugly as the other animals we've covered on this list, but they're still different, to say the least. 
By now, you should realize that the Mariana Trench is a place that will always continue to turn up discoveries daily. Whether it's the realization that humans have littered this planet to the point where it reaches the bottom of the Mariana Trench to all sorts of different types of sharks, we'll be here to bring you more Mariana Trench discoveries when they happen, and we're pretty sure we won't have to wait too long for that. So until next time, safe travels and always expect the unexpected.